Hey guys, here's a quick tip for custom icons that helps you keep your quick access panel organized. Now, if you're like me, I love using the quick access panel and I particularly like using it with tile very small, which means that I don't have the benefit of the name of the brushes on every single brush. But what it also means is that I end up with rows of brushes with the exact same icon. Now you could come in here, right click uh, and go into the subtool settings and then just switch this out to uh, one of any of the other not that many other icons that Clip Studio comes with. Um, but you can also click user settings and add your own icon. You can also get online and download custom icon sets for Clip Studio Paint. But sometimes I just need a little descriptor that only I know about and use, and I don't really care if anyone else uh, recognizes it either. For example, I often reach for this uh, kind of like this Conte uh, pencil brush, uh, but it's right next to this other chocolate brush, and I'm constantly grabbing the wrong one. So I'm going to do just a quick down and dirty icon for myself, uh, just so I can remember. I'm just going to make this uh, 160 by 160 pixels, just something uh, not too big. I'm going to double click this uh, paper icon and make it a dark color just so I can see. Now I'm using the dark theme of Clip Studio Paint, so I want my icon to be a light color, which is why I'm going to draw this on a, another layer with a light color and, it, and is why I made the background dark. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, just the stock G pen, grab a, a white or a light gray, and I'm just going to call this charcoal. I'm making it thick enough so that I can see this at a tiny distance. That's probably good enough for me. I'm going to turn the background layer off. I'm going to export it as a PNG. And to do that, you, you go to File, Export single single layer and PNG. I've set that to my command bar because I'm constantly exporting PNGs. So I'll just click click PNG and I'm just going to replace the previous icon that I had there before. Okay. And now I can right click this subtool and click use other settings. Click charcoal. And there you go. I just have a quick easy reference for myself for a tool that I use all the time. This is especially true of uh, custom actions that you might make. Uh, for example, this converts a layer into an image material. So if I click that, you can see that the image material uh, icon is there now. Anyway, the image material has certain benefits to it, which I won't go into now. But don't forget you can, don't forget you can use colors uh, with this method as well. So I might just come in here again with my G pen and uh, turn on my background so I can see what's happening. A little label like this. You know, and I can always, you know, make a little marker that says, you know, everything that's red at the top, it maybe, you know, is a note in my head. It refers to a custom action. You make up your own, uh, your own little key in your mind. So I'm going to turn off that background, click PNG, call this image material. Save that, and now I can right click this icon settings, specify image file, image material. Okay, now you can see that it does get to a point where things are so small that you can't really read anything, but you can experiment and play around with what's noticeable and readable for you. You can always go back, right click any of these icons, and go back to one of the Clip Studio specific icons to reset the icon as well. If you are looking for an extended set of Clip Studio icons, head on over to my Gumroad rubenlara.gumroad.com slash L slash custom icons. And uh, you have a pencil set with numbers and letters, pen set and a brush set with numbers and letters as well. If anything, you can grab these, load them into Clip Studio, they're PNGs, and further modify them if you want to add labels or colors to them, and create an environment that you understand that helps you work at maximum efficiency. All right, guys, hope that was helpful and best wishes on your projects.